You may have heard that Meghan McCain called Joe the Plumber a dumbass, and yet RNC Chairman Michael Steele actually praised Mr. Plumber for getting the Republican groove back. So in a number one story in the countdown, let, let's put it nicely. The Republican Party is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Meanwhile, the President of the United States addresses the flack he's catching over his mom jeans. But first, Joe the Plumber, Wolzelbacher. It was not too long ago that Mr. Wolzelbacher said that he did not want, quote, queers anywhere around my children. So when Meghan McCain, Senator McCain's daughter, was asked about that in her interview with Out Magazine, she said, quote, Joe the Plumber, you can quote me, is a dumbass. He should stick to plumbing. Enter RNC Chairman Michael Steele, who without any prompting from Hardball's Chris Matthews, paid Mr. Wolzelbacher a huge compliment just yesterday. We couldn't even argue the basics of, of the economy in the last election effectively. Um, and it took, you know, a happenstance conversation with a plumber before we could really begin to get that, that groove. Yes, Chairman Steele, Joe the plumber really turned things around for your party. But the leader of the free world has his own problems. The jeans he wore at baseball's All-Star Game roundly criticized as ill-fitting, kind of like mom jeans. But when the Today Show's Meredith Vieira asked President Obama about it, he said, quote, I'm a little frumpy. And also, quote, those jeans are comfortable. In other words, get over it. Finally, there's Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill and what she twittered late last night about the health care deb debate. I support the pubic option on health care reform, but must make sure private market can compete. But just nine minutes later, she tweeted again, correcting her mistake, public option. Let's bring in actor and comedian Michael Ian Black, currently starring in the new comedy on Comedy Central. Michael and Michael have issues, and good evening, Michael. Good evening, David. Let's start with Joe the Plumber. A pretty wide range of opinion about him, even among, even among Republicans. Care to offer yours? Well, first of all, I'm a huge Joe the Plumber fan. Everything that he says, I'm fascinated to hear it. <laughs> I love his opinions, his insightfulness, and his craziness. But, uh, you know, it's interesting that on one hand he said, I'm, quote, not just a dumb plumber, but he also said, uh, oh, no, he said he was a dumb plumber, but then he also said, I'm not some ignorant redneck who doesn't have anything to say about anything. So it seems like he was maybe contradicting himself a little bit, but that's the genius of Joe. He can talk out of both sides of that plumbing mouth. Uh, turning to the president and his genes, he also said that, quote, here's my attitude. Michelle, she looks fabulous. For people who want a president to look great in jeans, I'm sorry. So the president is sticking with Frumpy? I guess he is, but, I, you know, by the same token, nor do we need a president who shops at any says. You know, we need a president. <laughs> no, we don't need a president who necessarily looks great in tight jeans. But would it kill him to get a pair of Levi's? Would it kill him? <laughs> I understand they're comfortable, but Levi's makes some excellent products, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, then there's Senator McCaskill, who almost turned uh, the health care debate into a soft core porn dialogue. But thankfully, she didn't let that um, spiral out of control. Well, uh, you know, this is a typo. We've all made typos before. But it did inspire me to wonder whether or not the Brazilian would be covered under President Obama's health care reform plan. <laughs> Of course, on the other side of the aisle, Senator Chuck Grassley loves to tweet, particularly when complaining about President Obama, like this now infamous tweet. When you are a hammer, you think everything is nail. I'm no nail. <laughs> are senators, generally speaking, simply out of their element on this whole tweeting thing? Well, here's the problem. Twitter is designed for people who can speak in short, succinct sentences. That's not necessarily a senator's forte. They're not necessarily good at confining things to 140 characters or less. It frankly worries me if, uh, if they can't get out two sentences without making a gaffe. I think that should be concerning for all Americans. <laughs> uh, there's the uh, growing uh, dramatic narrative about whether Republicans will be able to kill President Obama's health care reform. Would you like to venture a guess as to who is going to win that one? I don't know. I mean, here's on one side, you've got, what, 45 million uninsured Americans. On the other side, you've got a handful of very rich lobbyists i'm going to go with the rich lobbyists <laughs> historically that seems to be the group that wins and uh, speaking of winning um megan mccain fair to say that her description of joe the plumber is one that probably i don't know most americans agree with megan mccain is my favorite republican 
I absolutely adore her. I, every, every time she speaks, I think, why aren't people like her running for office? I really think she's great. And, and she's correct. Joe the plumber is, and you can quote me on quoting Megan McCain, a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> is there any doubt? No. No. Look at the man. <laughs> <laughs> no, rather, no I, I, take that, that I, take that, I take that back. I take that back. Listen to the man. <laughs> okay. Comedian Michael Ian Black, also starring in Michael and Michael Have Issues on Comedy Central. And Michael, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks so much for having me.